Hi, I'm Danielle Ganyik, Editorial Analyst for Commercial UAB News, and today I'm speaking with Lorenz Meyer, CEO and co-founder of Autarium, to discuss their latest product release, the SkyNote. Hi, Lorenz. How are you doing today? Hi, Danielle. Really good. Um, we're super excited to launch this new product, and so I'm really looking forward to the rest of this year. It's a difficult environment but uh, we're well prepared as a business and there are clearly needs for integrated products that allow our customers to do less and focus on their core business. And so this product is very timely. Couldn't agree more. So can you talk about the capabilities of the SkyNode avionics modules and what makes them unique for the drone industry? So, the pattern we've seen evolve over the past decade roughly and that's the last 12 years is sort of my background in the, in the industry is that it started with flight controllers then people started to add more autonomy more functionality on the system so adding um, what we call a mission computer which is essentially a linux computer or something like that which handles higher level logic and now people started to slowly bring drones online. And what we're really doing is we're bringing these, all these three things into one package. And Altarian is a software company. We're an open source software company. So we really try to focus on just software as a business. But we saw a lot of our early customers struggle bringing the different components in terms of electronics together and working reliably. And that is why we felt compelled to pitch in and create something that is essentially the equivalent of the first uh, Google Nexus phone, which essentially brings a platform, a hardware platform to run our software platform on. How is the SkyNode able to streamline the process of bringing enterprise-ready drones to market, as well as to help lower costs, save time, and reduce overall risk? So apart from, of course, the hardware design part, which now is gone, and so you save many months in your product cycle, you also have a lot less risks of compatibility of different components, of third-party vendors, and what is the true enabler, not from the drone manufacturer side who are buying or integrating this kind of reference design. From the end user side, the key differentiator is being online. And what that means is really pivotal, the same way as it's, it, it was pivotal for the smartphone, that now you're able to stream data straight from the vehicle into your enterprise cloud. And that sounds very cloudy in a way, but what it really means is that as you shoot a picture as a professional photographer or videographer, you can directly push it into the Adobe Creative Cloud, for example, or you can directly get maintenance data, photos, things like that into your ERP workflow. And this is a time saver. It provides more consistent results. And now you would ask, like, is Atarian integrating with all of these systems? And that's, of course, not scalable. We're doing some of that. But because the system can run onboard apps in Docker containers, our customers and even the enterprises buying the drones from our partners can write their own applications that they can deploy on board and connect their specific payload or standard payload with their specific enterprise workflow, the same way as apps on smartphones work. And that is a complete game changer in how companies can work together. Fantastic. So um, one of the things that um, I, that one of the features of SkyNode is that it comes equipped with remote ID. Um, when the MP MPRM of on remote ID came out several months ago, a lot of talk was centered around how bulk of the requirements were focused on hardware upgrades and modifications. And there was a concern for the cost of something like that. Um, and, and that was expressed throughout the commenting period. 
how might something like this, uh, the Sky Node, uh, change the conversation concerning this? So I think it, it changes it in two ways. One is because it is designed as an online product, we have, of course, no issues being compliant with the remote ID online requirements. And there are, you know, internationally also different interpretations of that. The other part is that we have the right radios on board to do peer-to-peer -peer and drone-to-smartphone identification. And because that's already pre-integrated, this whole, whole hassle, which is a huge concern for a lot of drone manufacturers right now, is completely taken away. And I think this might seem like an outlier initially out of the gate because now we have additional regulation and it's hard to comply and people are concerned about it, rightfully so. I, however, think this is more the first sign of a steady state industry because it's not like smartphones wouldn't be regulated, um, like cybersecurity wouldn't be regulated, like data privacy wouldn't be regulated. And we've all just gotten used to it that there are these central integration points in all of these industries which take care of that. And that is why I think Skynode is, in fact, the sign that the drone industry is finally really maturing and showing the same industry patterns as steady state industry does. On point. Um, so you're coming out with four different co configurations of the Skynode. Can you talk about how they are different and which markets they're really designed for? So we, of course, always want to build one thing and offer that to everybody. Um, we, however, found that there are certain different needs. Uh, for example, Skynode in general would be extremely capable as a software product and combined hardware product. However, certain regulations in certain countries require limitations on that uh, for export control purposes to make sure that you are really restricting the usage to a commercial profile. And that's why we have one clear commercial product. And we also have a government product, which doesn't have the same restrictions, but also has additional cybersecurity hardening and other things, essentially some access removed. So you could call it um, hardened on a cybersecurity level. So that's, that's two clear things. Then drone manufacturers are typically wanting to deeply integrate the overall electronics in their system. That's why we're offering an OEM module and even the reference design for that OEM module. So if as a drone manufacturer, you really want to build everything yourself, you can. That is a great way how we do business as Otarian because with our open source software, and with the reference design, which is not open source, but available to our customers, our customers, our drone manufacturers that we work with still retain full control over their product design process. Now, th this is the, the range for typical drones. And now what we're really, really excited about is the collaboration with GE Aviation, which resulted in the SkyNode RTA, which is a variant of Skynode, which includes an additional safety component by G Aviation, which monitors the correct function of the autopilot and can intervene if there were a failure. And that enables Skynode to be taken to really high assurance use cases, cargo drones, but also inspection of critical infrastructure. Um, it would be for example, really important to not have any system failure near power line or near refinery or any, any other high value industrial asset you're inspecting. And in all these cases, GE Aviation with their pedigree in designing safe autopilots really helps us as Otarian to come up with a product that has a pedigree that we as, uh, as a company wouldn't, wouldn't have achieved it also shows the pattern of Altarian coming up with a design pattern, a reference design, and industry taking it up. I definitely have a long history of, of doing that, which is fantastic. 
So something that you mentioned and, and I'd like to talk a little bit more about is SkyNote is completely manufactured in the U.S. and is fully compliant with the National Defense Authorization Act of 2020 and the proposed American Drone Security Act of 2019. Can you talk about what having this level of compliance can mean for the drone industry in the U.S., especially since the SkyNode can be retrofitted to existing technology? Um, we found based on our government customer feedback that there is a real hole in the market right now because there is a very limited supply of American-made autopilots per se and specifically of this integration level. And because we are completely compliant, our customers can have confidence that they can take it to any sort of use case, including uh, government use cases, including uh, critical infrastructure. And at the same time, it's not just being um, compliant, right? That's, that's great and that's important and that's what you can sell to this year. But the reason to adopt SkyNode is that you really hop on a completely different technology base. And it's really like going from the old feature phones with hard buttons to a smartphone. And now people, as they have to uh, reevaluate which autopilots they're running on their systems, can really do both, get compliant and upgrade to a completely new technological base. In terms of retrofitting, the SkyNote design itself follows the long legacy of Pixhawk, which is a original um, design that I did in 2011 and then open source. And because the drone industry has picked up this technology consistently, the, the fact that this is, it's not a Pixhawk, it's, it's very different. It's really, Pixar is this old thing, which is a normal phone with buttons, essentially, and SkyNote is a smartphone. But still, we retain similar interfaces. So if you had an airframe that ran a Pixar, or even on a DJI M600, you can retrofit SkyNote with essentially no changes, no significant changes of cabling. And this should also make it really easy for our partners and customers to upgrade their technology. Fantastic. Can you speak to what it's been like to move forward with a rollout during this pandemic? Uh, have you learned anything from that experience? So, yes, yeah, so we have learned quite a few things uh, in terms of hardware availability. Uh, we were relatively lucky with our timing. Um, we have ordered prototype parts uh, in time, but we do see lead times uh, for some of our partners. Overall, I would say because we have been already a completely online company, uh, this hasn't been uh, you know, a, a significant issue for us. I think there's one big change and that is how we interface with our customers and partners. And that means that Alterian is really becoming an online first company. We're trying to make sure we're really approachable, like in this instance today. And uh, we are, yeah, we show, we show the value to our customers, not by going there and showing them the hardware, software, or a flight demonstration, but making it very approachable. And uh, it's probably too early to talk about the specifics of that, but we will also make sure that we make more of our software um, available online directly on our website where people in the future can try and download the Alterian software, try it in um, virtual environments to get a feel. And so, yes, it does impact as a, us as a company, but I personally find that uh, in ways that are just making us more scalable. And, and so I, I see also positives in here. Great. Um, my final question for you is if someone were interested in learning more about the SkyNode, um, where would be the best place to start? The absolutely best place is optarian.com slash SkyNode. That is the launch page where you have all the information, you have contact details of our commercial sales teams. 
And hopefully that page already answers most of the questions or the initial set of questions um, that somebody might have. Thank you. And thank you for joining uh, me today to discuss the Sky Node and I hope you stay safe and well. Yes, I hope you too. And we are really looking forward to see adoption of this product. And we also hope that we will contribute to fighting this pandemic by adoption in cargo drones, by adoption in other systems. And we would in particular love to hear from customers who are interested to, to really help there and, and see if we can prioritize and help them go to market faster. Thank you.